if you're just tuning in, I'm going to go back, pause it, and then uh, take your notes real quick, and then I'm going to scroll. Okay, and same thing, pause it, and then I'm going to scroll. Sorry, I forgot to push record. Okay, so uh, for number nine, we're going to say 180 minus 77. What does that give you? 103? I got 103. 103? Okay, so 103. Okay, and if you need it, you don't have to put this part, but this is the same side interior. Okay, if you need extra practice, then that's what I would do first. Okay, uh, 11. Where's the question mark? Inside or outside? Outside. Outside. What about the 108? Outside. Outside. So these are going to be an alt exterior. Okay. Um, are they equals or add up to be 180? They're equal. So if this is 108, then this has to be 108 degrees as well. Okay, uh, 13, where is the question mark? Inside or outside? Inside. Inside. Where's the 78? Inside. Are they same sides or opposite sides? Right. Same side. So they are same side interior. Are they going to be equal or add up to be 180? Yes, yeah, so same sides add up to be 180. So you're going to say 180 minus 78. 102. 102, somebody agree? Mm -hmm. Okay. 15. Where's the question mark? Inside. Inside. Where is the 116? Outside. Outside. So we have one in and one out. What kind of angles are these? Corresponding. They're corresponding. And what do we know about corresponding? Are they 180 or equals? Equal. They're equal. So if this is 116, then this has to be 116. Okay, 17 and on are all of these like types of triangles. How much does a triangle equal? 180. Yeah, so a triangle, this adds up to 180 degrees, okay? No matter what type of triangle, no matter if it's this big or this small, they add up to be 180, okay? Uh, so you're going to say 180 minus 70 minus 40. 70. 70? Somebody agree with that? Okay, and here's where we need to time. Okay, first of all, when you're doing your test, listen, because it's important. When you're doing your test, you need to circle your final answer. Okay? If, listen, see, because some of you guys are going to jack it up. Okay? If you only write down this part and it is wrong, you lose more points than if you would have wrote down the entire thing. Okay, because I know a lot of you guys, how many of you guys just type it on the calculator and write me the answer? Seriously. Okay, a lot of you guys do, which is fine. It's basic calculator math. Here's the problem is if you make one tiny error, you're gonna lose three points. Whereas if he wrote his down and got the same number wrong, if he wrote 66 and you wrote 66, I can see his math and where like his thought process was. And I'm like, okay, so he wrote everything down right. He may have accidentally just typed in something wrong on the calculator and gave me a 66. Okay, so he only misses one and you miss all three. Okay, because I don't know where you got 66 from. For all I know, people literally, uh, somebody in my sixth period did this on their paper the other day, it pissed me off. They said, A, B, C, the whole way down. Okay, and then one day he was like, oh, I'm gonna write down 20. 35, okay? I don't know where you got the number from if you show me no work. Now, is work necessarily required? No, it's all on the calculator. However, for all I know, you wrote down 52. Where you got the 52 from, I don't know, okay? So when you're doing your test, especially on the ones that have those two or three triangles that you need to go through, it takes you 10 seconds to write this down. I'm telling you, you're better off writing it down. Okay, if you even make one error, you're going to lose, especially the ones that are like, 
you have to do the 180 three times, you're going to lose out on probably, those ones are probably going to be about eight points. You're going to lose out on eight points, which is probably going to drop you about a full letter grade. Okay? You need to write this part down. Okay? Not on the review, on your test. Now, if you write it on the review, absolutely have at it. Okay? I'm not going to make you do it on the review, and I'm not going to make you do it on the test, but you are playing a sketchy, sketchy game. Does everybody understand? Okay? You're going to miss more if you accidentally make a mistake. Okay? Uh, 19. Okay? It's going to be 180 minus what? Minus 90, minus 40. And what is that? 50? Okay, so 50. And that really is going to go here. Okay, 21. I got 180, minus 70, minus 66. 44. 44. Okay, and these are the ones where I was talking about you're going to miss a crap ton of points. Okay, because if you accidentally, not on purpose, right? Because I know you guys know how to do it. If you accidentally get a number wrong here, is this one then going to be right? No. If you write down 7 here, you're going to write down 7 here, and then this whole triangle is going to be wrong. So by the time you get here, your, thing, your entire thing is wrong. Okay, whereas if you write it down, I'm like, oh, shoot, they made a mistake on number 1. But they did the steps right. They, they did the 180. They copied the vertical angles. Right? Then I can like justify it a little bit and say, okay, well, Chase is only going to miss two instead of eight. Okay? So, um, I'm, I'm telling you right now, you better show your work or something. Okay? So, for this first triangle, we're going to say 180 minus what? Which triangle do you do first? Yeah, with the two in it. Okay? So, minus 24 minus 52. And what does that give you? 104. Okay, so 104, and then this one is 104. Okay, and again, it only takes a second to accidentally type something wrong in the calculator. It just happens so fast, and I get it. Okay, and then for the other one, we're going to say 180 minus what? Good. And a 44. 32. Okay, so this one is 32, and make sure you circle me your final answer because there's a lot of math going on up there. Okay, 25. These ones are worth the most because you have to do it three times. Okay? So the ones that kind of look like a mountain are going to be worth the most points on your entire test. Okay? Don't skip those ones. If you're going to skip any of them, don't skip that one. Okay, which triangle are we going to do first? This one or this one? Triangle one or triangle two? Well, they both have a 90 degrees. Triangle one. Triangle one. Okay, so for triangle one, we're going to say 180 minus 90 minus 30. 60. 60? Mm -hmm. Okay, so 60 is going to go right here. Okay, so then for the other part right here, okay, we're going to say 180 minus 90, because that's what a square is, minus 60. 30? Somebody agree with that? Okay, so 30 goes right here. And the 60 goes here. Okay, and then for the last one, we're going to say 180 minus 90 minus 30. 60. Okay, and that goes here. Okay, 27. I'm going to say 180 minus what? Which one's coming first? 67 and 39. 74. Okay, where does that go? Yeah, okay, so it's going to go here and here. Okay. And then for this one, we're going to have 180 minus 74 minus 83. 23. 
Okay, you guys have 14 to do. I am gonna go back to the front. If you did not put this stuff down uh, and you need it, please, please put it down. Um, 